Hey, welcome back. Um, time to get started again. We're into a new week. Okay, this is going to be the lesson for 9-2-3, day one. Okay, so this is bright and early on Monday morning. We will have a day two, so you'll get to see me twice this week. I know you're excited. Um, and that's going to be on Wednesday. So we split this up. So today we are focused on one problem only. Okay, and we're going to work all the steps of the one problem. I'm going to have you practice. And then you can do your little quiz on Tuesday. And then we'll come back and we'll do a couple more just to make sure on Wednesday, do a little quiz before we move on. Make sense? Okay, let's get started. So again, we're lesson 9-2-3, day one. And if you notice, this is kind of a clue. So we're talking about layers, um, particularly in desserts, which is one of my favorites. Um, love dessert. So here we go. Thought-provoking question. Imagine if Americans switched from pounds to kilograms overnight. So tomorrow, instead of pounds, you had to use kilograms. Imagine that. There would be mass confusion. Get it? Mass. Kilograms, pounds, mass confusion. Yeah. Okay, at least he laughed. Willy Wonka laughed. Okay, the more mass something has, the more inertia it has. Interesting. If you haven't seen the original, see it. It's incredible. Please do it. Not that new one. Nah. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So we're focusing on volume of a prism. How much is something going to fill? I got my water bottle here, so how much would it fill? Um, even to the point like my wipes container. Okay, how much is it going to fill, whether it's a prism, a cylinder, whatever it might be? That's what we're focusing on, and how much it fills. All right, so if you had a lot of practice of finding the area of flat two-dimensional shapes, for example, like a piece of paper, flat two-dimensional shapes, we can find that. But then we're going to begin and, and enhance our skills to understand shapes with three dimensions. So how can you see the shape in layers? That's what I need you to really focus on. It's going, if I can figure out the bottom layer, the bottom edge, you know, one high, that layer, and if I know the height of it, that should be easy. Just find the bottom layer and multiply it by the height. That would work. So that's what I want you to focus on. Okay, so how can you slice the shape so that the layers are identical? This is where it gets a little goofy because sometimes we've got to turn the shape so we can have a bottom layer that's the same because the way they might have it if we slice with the bottom layer, it's not going to give me the same thing all the way up. I need the same thing all the way up to the top. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so here we go. So we have this piece of cake. Okay, and they have it sitting down. And they gave us a little cross section of it. And then this is kind of what it looks like. This is the top view. So it's a cake in the shape of an L. This side's 24, 12. 22, 36. And they tell us that the bottom crust is one centimeter tall. That's the cookie crust. Seven centimeters for the chocolate mousse and one and a half centimeters for the whipped cream. So Laverne's making this birthday dessert for her cousin Leslie. Facts. We know that it's nine and a half centimeters deep overall. We know the crust is one centimeter. We know the chocolate mousse is seven centimeters. And we know the whipped cream is 1.5. So here's the key, is can I take the bottom layers and then work my way up? So let's get started. Okay, so again, I have the top view for you there. It's also in your textbook and in the Chromebook, so you can be, um, have it there too. So the first thing we've got to do, they want us to find the area that the dessert will cover in the pan in square centimeters. So I just need the area of this. Okay, that should be pretty easy for all of us. So let's find the area of this shape. So if I go like this and cut it into a piece, I can do this piece here and I can do that piece there. We just gotta make sure that we have the right dimensions. So we have 24 here. If this is 36 and this is 22, that means this has to be 14. Okay, so I'm gonna start by doing this piece right here. And I'm going to do 24 times 14. So if you want to, you pull out your calculator. Okay, and we go 24 times 14 equals 
336. Now I need to do this piece right here, which is we know is 22. And now I got to figure out how long this is. Well, if this whole thing is 24 and this is 12, what does this last piece have to be? Yep, it's got to be 12. So this is going to be 22 times 12. So 22 times 12, and that equals 264. So I have that piece and that piece, add them up. And how much do you get? Good, you get 600. Make sure we're finding the area of the bottom. This is this bottom layer of cookie crust. Make sure you have the right label. We're finding area. So it should be centimeters squared. So again, we're finding the bottom layer. Okay, so now that we have the bottom layer, let's move on to question two. It says one cookie, if we crush it up, okay, it'll give me about five cubic centimeters. So if I crush up one cookie, it's gonna give me five cubic centimeters of fill. Okay, what Laverne, so we've gotta show Laverne, how do we find out how many cookies she's gonna to need to make this bottom layer? So the bottom layer is only one high, and one cookie is about five cubic centimeters, she knows she needs to figure out how many cookies overall. Okay, so I'm going to move this up for you, a little bit easier to see. Well, we know the area of the bottom was 600 centimeters squared. So that whole bottom area was 600 centimeters squared. If one cookie gives me five, let's find out how many cookies will fill up the 600. Because remember, if this bottom edge is 600 all the way around here, but it's times one, it's still 600 cubic centimeters. And one cookie gives me five cubic centimeters. So what do you think we have to do? Oh, great job, Cassie. She said we've got to take the 600 and just divide it by five. So get on your calculators and do 600 divided by five. Yep, so you're gonna have about 120 cookies to fill that whole bottom layer. So for crushing the cookies, we need about 120 cookies. So again, this was an area of 600, but it's only multiplied by one because it's only one high, so it's 600 cubic centimeters of fill. So the volume is 600 cubic centimeters. So all we got to do is divide it by five. Since one cookie gives me five cubic centimeters, we're going to figure out how many cookies total. All right, next page. Three. Okay, so Laverne wants the mousse on the top of the crust to be seven meters thick. So we got to figure out how many cubic centimeters of mousse Laverne will need. So she wants this seven centimeters thick. So how much mousse is that going to take to fill that whole area? So remember that the bottom layer was 600. So if we wanted seven meters thick, centimeters thick, what do you think we need to do? Oh, good job, Corbin. Yes, just multiply by seven. So we have 600 and there, so we have 4,200 cubic centimeters. And that's it, pretty easy. So again, this one layer is 600 cubic centimeters, but I need seven centimeters of it. So you take 600 times seven. Okay, question four. Okay, now it says that Laverne already made up her whipped cream. She's already got that done. And it says she's got 1,200 cubic centimeters of whipped cream to spread on the top. But because of the way this dessert is, we're only allowed to have 1.5 centimeters. So we need to know, um, is this too much or is this too little? Do we need more whipped cream or does she have too much and it's going to get all messy and fall off? So remember, one layer... Okay, one inch, okay, was equivalent to, so one centimeter 
we had 600 centimeters cubed. Okay, I need one and a half for the dessert, but she's got 1,200. Yeah, we could just do that. Somebody just yelled out, can't we just take 600, multiply it by 1.5, and see what that gives us? Yeah, so do that right now. 600 times uh, 1.5. Thank you. Someone said that's 900 centimeters cubed. So that's all we need. She's got that much. That's way too much. It's just going to pour over to the sides. Now, if someone says, how much more does she have? Just take your 1,200, subtract out your 900. So we could say she's got 300 centimeters cubed too much whipped cream, which if it were me, I'd eat it anyway. Oh, whipped cream's so awesome. Like the Cool Whip in the frozen section in the little tubs, just eat it straight. Or put it on pumpkin pie, oh yes. Getting hungry? I am. Okay. Lastly, says they want to know the total volume of the dessert, okay? Because Laverne's going to take this to the party, and she knows that one serving is going to be that much. So she needs to know how many people can she feed. Okay, so we've got to go, how much is the total volume? Well, we know the bottom layer, 600. How many centimeters tall is it? Thank you, Steinhaus. Nine and a half. So let's multiply 600 times nine and a half. Thank you, someone just yelled out 5,700 centimeters cubed. So this is my total volume. We took the base layer, which is 600, multiplied it by nine and a half. So we found the area of the bottom and then just multiplied it by the total height. So if we have that, we know that one serving is 285. What do we need to do to figure out how many servings? Yes, thank you, Mr. McBain. He said take the 5,700 and divide it by the 285. So somebody tell me how many servings can we actually do? How many people will actually get a piece of this? I'll be patient. Yes, Connor. Connor says we should have 20 servings. So if you do the division, we should get 20 servings. Questions? Okay, let's move on. Okay, this is what I want you to do. So I want you to find, okay, the volume, okay, of a layer one centimeter high. So find me the base, and then I want you to find me the total volume, okay? Every face is a rectangle, so you should have two steps. Find me the volume of the base, and then find me the total volume. So this is where you can pause it right now, so go ahead and press pause. Okay, now we're back. So you took a couple minutes, you were supposed to find the base, and then you were supposed to find the total volume. Okay, so if we're doing the base, you should have taken the six times the five to give you 30 centimeters times one, because we're saying it's one high. So 30 centimeters cubed. That's the bottom layer, the bottom base. So the area, and then take it times one centimeter. So if we were doing this base, it would kind of look like this. So assuming that's one centimeter high, that's what we just figured out is that layer. So if one layer is 30 centimeters cubed, what's my total volume then? What do we got to do? You should have taken your 30, multiplied it by 22, and got 660 for your total volume. Questions? All right, cool. That's day one. Day two, we're going to jump right into it. Okay, see you guys later.